All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to very quickly just sign up for HostGator and then how to install WordPress inside of HostGator. Now, the reason you've probably heard me say this a few times, the reason that I recommend HostGator is that, well, there's a few reasons. They're one of the biggest companies, they have the best support, the best uptime. But to start out on a, like a lower hosting plan, such as shared hosting, it's just much more affordable to start out with. They're one of the only hosting companies that let you pay monthly. And then the biggest reason is, and this happened to me, if you start out with a web host that only offers shared hosting, and a lot of them out there are that way. In fact, most web hosts are like that. And they promote you know, unlimited hosting and unlimited bandwidth and they say that but as soon as your site starts to get a lot of traffic they will kick you off and so if you're if you're with a host that only has shared hosting you have to move your entire sites and all the files to a completely different web host with HostGator you can start with their inexpensive shared hosting and you can effortlessly move up, just upgrade from inside of your account without having to try to move all your files. So it's just much easier to start with them. So what you want to do is come here to web hosting or this big button, view web hosting plans. And what you want is probably the baby plan because the big difference here is with the hatchling, you only get one domain. Uh, so if you ever have need for another domain or anything, or another website, it's it's there and it's not that much more expensive. So we'll start with a baby plan. I'm gonna choose monthly and just click order now. Okay. And let's just say, for the sake of the example, my example site one two three now if you currently have a domain to use with this you can enter that here it just depends and then down here a little trick with HostGator is to type in one cent okay continue to step two what you're gonna do then is enter a username uh, so just type something in there and a security pin okay and then I'm just gonna actually uh, fill this out so just give me one second here I can't think and talk very well or think about what I'm trying to do at least. Okay. You uh, enter credit card information. expiration date and let's see American Express has the one from the front okay so you've got one cent so your first month is free or whatever so it's basically just the domain reg registration so you hit create account no what did I do wrong okay so let me try that again my username was too long okay so I've paid it's just trying to give me some uh, some upsells right here you basically just have to wait for an email which is gonna show up any second and then you'll just 
you'll get your login information so I'll wait for that okay so I got the email from HostGator it took about four minutes to come to my inbox and you're there's two accounts that you can log into your billing account and then your cPanel your billing account just shows you I mean it's just your billing account it's like your account profile in amazon.com what you want to log into to install WordPress is your cPanel and your login information is in that same email so it's I mean it's just the username that you set up and then they will have emailed you a complicated looking password you just copy that and paste it and you'll be able to log into your cPanel nope I'm fine this is what the inside of cPanel looks like and this is pretty universal I mean the only difference with a different host would be this alligator and hostgator wouldn't be right there but this is what the inside of a uh, cPanel looks like so it's very very easy to install WordPress so a lot of this probably looks confusing and some of it is and a lot of it I don't even know how to use but you don't need to know how to use very much of it if you come down here to Fantastico Deluxe will be or it's what you click on and then right here you just click on WordPress okay and then you just click on a new installation so it's going to be installed on the domain and that's what you want you want the wordpress you want wordpress to be installed on your root domain and then you just enter your admin access data now your admin username this is important uh, most people just put admin you do not want to use that because your site will probably get hacked you want to just make up something um, random so that people can't hack in and I'm gonna write this down as I make it up okay something random make sure you write it down so you don't forget it that would be bad and then your password you want to do the same thing So, once you've done that, then give yourself your admin nickname is what you want to use. That's what, I mean, that's just where you put something normal, like your regular name. Okay. And that's it. Hit install WordPress. So, it's going to give you, it's going to tell you where it's going to be installed, and you just hit finish, finish installation. okay and then you'll get this information that will show you your username and your password and you just click this link and this is what just the base WordPress uh, screen looks like this is where you'll log in for the first time and from inside you'll be able to edit your WordPress site so that's everything you need to do to sign up for HostGator and get WordPress installed and it takes I mean total time if you include waiting for the email from HostGator that's the longest part I mean it's less than 20 minutes easy 15 10 or 15 minutes that's it